graph linear equations. I am Anil Kumar and in this video we will discuss how to graph linear equations with slope and y-intercept method. It is an excellent method to use especially when you are given equation in slope intercept form with fractions. Now the question here is graph each of the following on the same grid using slope and y-intercept method. We have equations which are y equals to 3 over 2x minus 1 and y equals to minus 3 over 4x plus 1. Here as you can see slope of the line is a fraction. So whenever the slope of the line is given as a fraction slope and intercept form is the preferred method to use table of values can make it complicated at times. Okay, now let's start with part A. Part B is for you to practice. So we have y equals to 3 over 2x minus 1. Now here, what is the slope? Slope of this line is 3 over 2. The coefficient of x is the slope, right? So as a reminder, slope is coefficient. of x whenever the equation is given in the form of y equals to mx plus b. So we are considering equation of the form of y equals to mx plus b. Coefficient of x is m which is our slope, right? So we can write m as slope. Now remember one thing. When we say slope m is equals to 3 over 2, this is also equal to minus 3 over minus 2. Do you see that part? Now, that is important to understand. You will soon realize how. Okay, next part of this equation is, as we call this way of writing equation as slope intercept form, b, which is y-intercept. If x is 0, what is y? y is equals to minus 1, so it becomes the y-intercept. So here we have y-intercept of minus 1, right? So y-intercept is minus 1. So we know two things from the equation. We can straight away read those two things. That is y-intercept is minus 1 and the slope is 3 over 2. Now we'll use both of these parameters to sketch graph of this linear equation. y-intercept is minus 1. That means a point on y-axis at y equals to minus 1, x equals to 0, right? So whenever x is 0, so that means x is 0, y is minus 1. That is what it means. Now we know the slope is 3 over 2. Slope is what? Slope is rise over run, correct? That is what slope is. So 3 over 2, that means you go up 3, 1, 2, 3, rise. And run of 2, 1, 2. So you get your next point. Now, if you join these two points, you get your line. To get the third point, what we can do is, we can treat slope as minus 3 over minus 2. That means, go down by 3. 1, 2, 3. Minus 2 means on the left side. 1, 2. So, you get another point here. Well, it's a good practice to get at least three points. I know, you can draw a line with the help of two points, right? But third point gives you a surety that your calculation is correct, right? So these two points, align them and join them with a straight line. Don't forget to write or mark arrows at the end. This indicates that line extends forever and a solid line connecting them indicates infinite number of points in between, right? So follow this strategy and sketch graph of the linear equation given. So you can pause the video now, sketch the graph and then look into my answer. Now here we have y equals to minus 3 over 4x plus 1. So what is the y-intercept? Plus 1. So plus 1 is my y-intercept. Well in this case it is the same point as on the previous line. But the slope here is let me write down, slope here is minus 3 over 4 or you could also write this as 
3 over minus 4. That is kind of important to understand. So if I use minus 3 over 4, that means go down, rise of minus 3. So from here, 1, 2, 3. This is down 3 and 4 to the right. 1, 2, 3, 4. There you are. Right? And if I use the slope of 3 over minus 4, go to the y-intercept and then 3 over 4. 1, 2, 3. And 4 to the left. 1, 2, 3, 4. There you are. Right? Joining these three points, the y-intercept of 1 with the two points which we found with the help of slope gives us the graph for the given linear equation correct so that is the graph of part b right so that is how you can sketch graph of linear equation using slope and intercept form without any calculations i hope you appreciate it i'm anil kumar you can subscribe to my videos and learn more about linear equations. Thank you and all the best.